Hello everyone, Pallytub here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Doing a new mic setup today. Got myself a brand new mixer, so we're going to be trying it out. I should sound okay. I did some testing, but if I clip like crazy, if it goes through the roof, I apologize for your eardrums before it even happens. That doesn't really make it okay that I made you a deaf person that can barely function in today's world. But at least, you know, I warned you. There was there was a warning. We're over here doing stuff on Bam Bam still, don't you worry, we're still doing it. I haven't forgotten where to go again. But, but, I was actually doing some co-op with my friends, and I realized that there was one thing I haven't done yet, like right back at the beginning of the game. We were going through this part, and we found this door, and I was like, seriously, how did I not see this? This is why people always give me shit in the comments. It's because I might be as blind as a bat. But power time, bats are blind. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I know. I, kn I know, okay? I know. There's a door here. This is what the key for 1,500 souls from the lady is from when you give her the Martitian's ashes. Now, this place by itself isn't crazy exciting, but... Oh, yeah, it clipped right there. But we got our loincloth. We got our fucking loincloth. So, what's up? Bam Bam's back, baby girl. Bam Bam is back, baby girl. For those of you that don't know, this is what Bam Bam wore in Dark Souls 1. When she wasn't wearing Havels. And considering I don't have Havels yet... Looks like I'm gonna continue to wear this. I also made a pretty alarming discovery, which again, I shouldn't have really been surprised by. It's it's incredibly obvious, actually. I realize I don't have any health. Like, I don't have any health at all. I was like, why is this game so hard? Why am I having such a hard time? Well, it's because I don't have any health. <laughs> like, none. Like, for some perspective, I have a character that's doing miracles, like fate stuff. I didn't know skeletons could climb. He's doing a bunch of, of healing, like he's just a healer. I didn't want him to deal any damage. He's gonna soak up damage and then heal his allies. I'm doing that in co-op with a couple friends of mine. Um, and that character, that character has more health than Bam Bam. He's level 45. And we're not talking like a little more health. He has almost 1,500. Like, it's not even close. We're not even close. I'm only at, I'm not even at 1,000. I'm level 70. Feels bad. Anyway. Uh, that was actually a lot of really important dialogue. And I skipped it just because I was excited about recording today. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure a lot of you have already gotten this. This is um, uh, an NPC that will give you source or not sorcery, excuse me, miracles. And we happen to uh, stumble across her on our journey. So there you go. I'm sorry I skipped the dialogue. I honestly didn't mean to, but it was one of those things where I had already started. Uh, so I probably should have, you know, I could go back. It's gone now. The dialogue is gone now. Anyway, we're going to be making our way back to that castle that we were at. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten. We're going back. I was also trying to figure out, like, what's what makes this elevator work. I have no idea. Like, sometimes it takes me up to the top. Sometimes it doesn't. Let's try to figure that out. I legitimately have no idea. Anyway, see y'all in a minute. Bye. I suppose what I'm trying to say, the point I'm trying to get across, is that I'm not really playing through my first playthrough in a very smart way. I shouldn't have gotten off the elevator there, huh? Oh, actually. The dragon scale ring, what does that do? Uh, I suppose what I'm really trying to say is that I kind of went in with a goal of something very specific that I wanted to do. I wanted to make Bam Bam. And that's the only thing I wanted to do. It's the only thing I cared about. And by being like that, by setting myself up that way, I went into the game, basically, I'm a glass cannon with none of the cannon. I don't hit hard. 
uh, because I don't have the intelligence and the strength for that yet. Um, maybe not even the right weapon for that yet. Um, I don't know any of the boss encounters, so that makes things like what I'm doing right now insanely risky. Like, just trying to, to learn all the designs right away without any practice, with no health. It's really dumb. If you're playing Dark Souls, I'm sure you already are. Let's all be honest here. Uh, but if you haven't started just yet, I really do recommend getting a tanky character, doing co-op, not trying to be the lone gunman that I have been throughout this series so far. And I think you'll have a much, much, much better time. Anyway, this guy's been talking a lot. I'm sorry. I'm talking right over him. Uh, we're doing okay, but again, we're in a position where I could take, like, one hit of damage before I have to heal. Which is a bit of a problem. Okay, he's gonna start spinning now. I don't know what to do now that he starts spinning. Do you see the problem? Do you see the problem with our build? Because I, I see the problem. Uh, I honestly think the problem, other than our armor that I'm wearing right now, I think the problem is the fact that um, we essentially have no fucking health. Now, there are some items that we can use if we have them to go respec. I don't know where these items are located. I believe they're pale tongues. I thought they would just be hanging out here. So we could go respec if we have them. Okay, I don't know if I have them. I'm just gonna go over to the place. I think I remember how to get there. I think we have a bonfire right there. It's uh, not the old Demon King. It's this one, right? The bed chamber? So I think we can go here and just be like, yo, what's up? I suck at this game. I need more health if I want to function as a as a as an adult. I think. Hello. Um reallocate attributes. No pale tongues in inventory. Okay, so this is when I figure out where shit, should I have not killed that guy? Did I fuck up? He just gave me some items and shit. Is this when I figure out how to get Pale Tongues? I know we've had them in the past. I think I just gave them to her though. Dude, for real, what a badass way to die. I'm not even upset. Not even upset about that. So, I'm not gonna lie, looked it up. Well, I looked at one video on, will, on, on where to farm these things. And I think it's over here. Or at least it was in the, in the Japanese version. I don't know if that's still the case. I mean, I've farmed these guys a lot before and I don't remember them dropping pale tongues. Am I dead? No. I don't remember them dropping pale tongues. But I also wasn't really looking for them, you know what I mean? There's a dark sword. Lots of red eye orbs. Let's go ahead and use one of these ring things. Or these uh, these lucky coins. Or rusted coins. Wow. What are words? What do they mean? We'll use one of these rusted coins and try to get that drop. Uh, I'm also not opposed to getting human form right now either. I did co-op with my friends as I mentioned and I made them give me embers. <laughs> like, I would help them do bosses whenever they got embers. I was like, seriously, I need your embers. Help, help me, I need embers, for real though. Um, so that's how I got those. So, the rusted gold coin, crush temporarily grant boost, to temporarily boost item discovery. Okay. I don't know if I actually read any other words there, or just I assumed I knew what it did. Honestly, it could have gone either way. Okay, one down. What do you got? What do you got for me? Cracked eye orb. Times two this time! Oh! Nice. I like how the follow-up just didn't happen. Oh shit, we got the dark mask. That's kind of cool. No pale tongues. I think I'm doing it wrong. I think I'm doing it wrong. One more try. We'll find out. 
I mean, I guess this isn't horrible soul farming. It's not great, but it's not horrible. You're so fast! Piss me the fuck off how fast that guy is! There you go. We got dark leggings, another cracked red eye arm. All right. I got one. Man, this is exciting. I only need... I only need four more. Yeah. Not that these guys are particularly hard or anything. But if you are trying to do this to respect your character and you're having trouble, the easiest way that I've found to kill them is to, you know, sit down at the bonfire, reset these guys. Let's go ahead and do that. And then um, you want to run out and get their attention. I gotta eat another coin. Let's go ahead and eat one. We'll go out, we'll get their attention, and we need to walk them back to that doorway because they don't really seem to know what the fuck to do with you if you are in this doorway they'll like walk up and they'll be like what are you how do you get in there though i don't understand if you haven't noticed there's a lot of enemies like that in this game so this is something that you can apply to quite a few situations i would presume so i guess i just want to say this for the record bam bam the character was initially conceived in Dark Souls 1 because I was arrogant. Because I knew a lot about the game. I knew how to beat Dark Souls. I knew which weapons I liked. I knew how to get those weapons. I knew which spells I liked. I know how to get those, or I knew how to get those spells. And then things like bosses. I knew all the boss strategies. I knew all their movesets. I knew what to dodge, when to dodge, and when I had openings for damage. So the concept of Bam Bam worked in that setting because she could hit stupid fucking hard and didn't really have a lot of help. She could run around in her little skimpy clothes and, and deal damage. But it was because I already knew about the bosses and I already knew about the weapons and I already knew about scaling. And I already knew about weapon movesets and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It was a character that was derived from knowledge and, and I would say cockiness in a lot of ways. It doesn't really work in a game that I've never played before. Uh, at all, to be honest. Just as I keep dying to these guys that I just finished saying weren't very hard. Doesn't, doesn't really work when you're approaching a new game. So even though I may have been good at Dark Souls 1, and I was, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be good at this game just because I played the other one. And I'm not going to be able to get the same advantages in this game just because I played the other one. So what I'm saying is, conceptually, I feel like I approached this game, I think it, it was in a fun way, but it was also in a fundamentally flawed way. Because I made a character that sets me up to fail in a lot of ways if I make mistakes. And of course I'm gonna make mistakes because I don't know anything about the game. Well, I'm just gonna say for the record, that was a horrible, horrible experience. Didn't like it at all. Did not like it at all. It took about 40 minutes to get these items there. Uh, I believe I can get these same items from invading other people. But I didn't do that. I didn't do that. So. Oh, yeah, I'm like in a daze after all that. I was just mindlessly killing those dark wraiths over and over and over and over and over. Hello. Uh, I would like to reallocate my attributes. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, Vigor. All right, looks pretty good. Wait a minute, how the fuck does my character have so much health? Not Bam Bam. What else gives HP? 
Something else has to give HP. That motherfucker. I don't even think he has 30 vigor yet. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Uh, we need to make sure that we are still scaling our weapon properly. So that needs to be a thing. We need to make sure that we have endurance. That needs to be a thing. Uh, we had 25 before. I was fine with 25. And then we can up our vigor to be 40. So we're basically, as of right now, a strength build. And that's it. Oh, I had one more to spend. Excuse me. Uh, we'll put that in... Seriously, what the fuck else gives health? Why is his health so high? I don't understand. Anyway, uh, we'll put our points into vitality, I guess. Why not? Oh my god, look at that bar. Holy shit. Maybe I was in human form. There we go. 1,576 health. That'll do it. That'll do it. Let's drop that. We don't need that anymore. What's our weight at? Oh my god, our weight's perfect. Beautiful. Alright, let's go kill ourselves a boss, shall we? Heading back to the Lothric Castle. We're gonna run right in there. We're gonna beat that guy. We're gonna beat him down into the ground. Because that's, that's all I know how to do. All I do is win, win, win no matter what. Got money on my mind. I can't ever get enough. I don't actually know if these are the words to the song. I'm trying, though. I had this fucking covetous gold serpent ring this whole time, and I never put it on. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I'm so upset with myself. On such a regular basis. Uh, let's equip that. Let's also get some magic defense, because I think that's what this guy does. We're going to swap out our shield to be the stamina regen. And I think we're looking pretty solid, boys. I think we're looking pretty solid. Alright. So I'm going to walk in there like I own the place. Oh wait, there's an item over there. I'm going to get that item. And then I'm going to walk in there like I own the place. Oh, a dark gem. Right, now where was I? What was I doing? Was there something over there? I think there probably was. Hello, handsome! Nice to see you, too! So if I get hit by stuff, it's gonna hurt really hard, but I'm pretty sure this ring gives us more immunity frames. Uh... Oh, God! Oh, thank God for those immunity frames. I've never actually used the ring, though, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, we're hitting okay. We have a lot of health. Dear little Ocelot, Can you get out of the corner? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. This boss really does just creep me the fuck out. What could you possibly fear? No. No. I think it's mainly because I don't know I don't have a clue what he's talking about. I think that's the biggest part of it. He seems to take bonus damage when he's doing that. I don't actually know if that's true. Alright, we're about to hit second phase. Oh, that was right in the nose. Oh, that must suck. Awesome. You know, I'm going to take this ring off. We'll go with no ring. I don't care. I'm decent with immunity frames. I don't want to be punished more when I miss them. I've decided this. All right, buddy. You're going down. We can't tolerate this. I'm going to hit you in the tail. Does it come off? Do I get a weapon? Your baby's crying again. Oh, I hit him right in the teeth. <laughs> See, if we were on the old build, we'd be dead already. You're the consumed king. So let me guess. His baby died? And that consumed him. 
Easy. I did it. More importantly, I did it my first try with the new setup, which makes me feel really good. Makes me feel like I did the right thing. <sighs> okay. So what do we want to do for rings? We can get the stamina regen going again. Um, or that was the health regen going again. You know, let's go for the life ring. Why not? Let's get some more HP. We need even more. What are we at with this? We are at 1687. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead back to the bonfire and level up. Probably uh, going to continue to put points into strength. I want to know what the cap is. It's either 40 or 50. So I'm going to do some mental math before uh, I spend any points. But thank you all for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time.